We're finally back with some brand new Premiere Pro tricks. Today, I'm going to share 10 powerful Premiere Pro techniques that will take your creativity to the next level. So without further delay, let's dive right in. Trick number one, set audio fade duration. If you notice annoying pops between your audio clips or at the beginning of your timeline, you probably already know that pressing control plus shift plus D applies a default audio transition to help smooth them out. But adjusting the duration of that transition manually every single time, that's a huge time waster. Instead, head over to the edit menu at the top, go to preferences, then click on timeline. Here, you can set your default audio transition duration to whatever works best for your project. For me, 0.26 seconds does the trick. Once set, you can apply transitions much faster. You can even select all your audio clips at once and hit Control plus Shift plus D to apply a fade in and fade out transition to every clip instantly. It's a quick and efficient way to clean up your audio without breaking your workflow. Trick number two, replace fonts fast. If you're working with multiple text layers in your timeline and need to change the font on each one manually, stop right there. There's a much faster way. Simply go to the graphics and titles menu at the top and click on replace fonts in project. A window will pop up showing a list of all the fonts currently used in your project. Just select the one you want to replace, choose your new font from the drop down menu and click OK. That's it. All your text layers will be updated instantly, saving you a lot of time and effort. Trick number three, stop images from overwriting clips. Here's a quick but very useful setting for anyone who works with still images in Premiere Pro. By default, when you drag an image from the project panel into the timeline, it comes in with a preset duration, often five seconds or more. The problem is this can accidentally overwrite other clips or layers, especially if you're placing it over a tight section of your edit. To fix this, go to the edit menu, then preferences and click on timeline. Here you'll see an option called Still Image Default Duration. I personally set this to one second, which gives me much better control. Now, whenever I drag an image into the timeline, it's short by default, and I can easily extend it manually to whatever length I need without the risk of it overlapping other content. Trick number four, auto scale imported clips. If you've ever imported a 1080p clip into a 2K sequence, you know the hassle of manually scaling it up every time, but Premiere Pro can do this automatically. Just go to the edit menu, click on preferences, then select media and here find default media scaling by default is set to none. Under it, you'll see two options, scale to frame size and set to frame size. While both will resize your footage to match the sequence, there's a key difference. Set to frame size adjusts the scale property non-destructively, preserving original resolution and allowing for better control later. On the other hand, scale to frame size resamples the video, which can reduce its quality. That's why I personally prefer set to frame size. Next time, when you drag a video with a different size than your sequence, Premiere will automatically adjust it to match the sequence resolution. But what if you're working with low quality footage that has poor resolution. Let me show you a quick example. Right here, I have a clip in 720p, but my project sequence is set to 2K. When I drag this footage onto the timeline, you'll notice in the effect controls panel that Premiere Pro automatically scales it up to match the sequence. But here's the problem. Increasing the scale actually reduces the quality even further. As a video creator, you've likely faced this. You find the perfect shot, but its resolution is too low. Upscaling it to 2K or 4K only makes it look worse blurry, soft, and unusable. At that point, you're left with two choices, replace it or settle for poor quality. But what if I told you there's another option? What if you could take that low quality clip to a tool and that tool enhance it into a clean, sharp, high quality video, even up to 4K? Today's video is sponsored by AI Arty, an AI powered video enhancement tool that does exactly that. With AI Arty, you can denoise, deblur, and restore texture and detail in your footage all with just a few clicks. It even allows you to create smooth, slow motion effects. And if your audio is noisy, it can clean that up too. And yes, it can upscale your videos all the way up to 4K while preserving clarity. Let's put it to the test and see just how powerful AI Arty really is. After installing it, open your video in the tool. Now on the right side, you'll see several options. Start by selecting your hardware, then choose an AI model. You can pick whichever one suits your needs. I'll go with smooth. Below that, you'll find the upscale option. Select the resolution you need. Since my project is in 2K, I'll choose 2K. You can turn turbo on if you want faster rendering. If your video has audio, you can enable the audio denoise option as well. Now take a look at the difference. 
my original video was very blurry and had poor texture since it was only in 720p, but after using the tool, I got a much better quality video with improved texture in 2K resolution. Check the link in the description to try it out. They also offer a free trial. Trick number six, sync to music beats. Editing your videos to match the rhythm of music can add a lot of energy. And with this trick, you can do it in just a few clicks. Start by moving the playhead to the beginning of your song and make sure nothing is selected. Then play the music and press M on your keyboard every time you hear a beat. This will place markers on the timeline that represent the rhythm. Once you're done, those markers will act as visual guides. Now, go to your project panel and arrange the clips in the order you want them to appear. Hover over each clip to find your desired starting point, then press I to mark the in point and O for the out point. Only the selected portion will be imported when you drag the clip to the timeline. Do this for all your clips. Once ready, select all the prepared clips, hold shift to select multiple, then click on the automate to sequence button. Under ordering, choose either sort order or selection order depending on how you arrange the clips. For placement, select unnumbered markers, then hit OK. Premiere will now automatically align your clips with the music markers. Perfect for quick edits, social reels, or even music videos. Trick number seven, using markers efficiently. We all know you can press M on your keyboard to set a marker on the timeline, but here's a powerful tip. Hold Alt and click on a marker to drag it out and extend its duration. Even better, double click the marker to give it a name. For example, intro or B-roll. This is incredibly useful for tagging chapters in your video, giving you a clear and organized overview of your entire timeline while editing. Trick number eight, Organize with extra timeline. This might be one of the most underrated tricks in Premiere Pro, and chances are you haven't heard of it before. After you finish filming, you usually end up with a bunch of clips sitting in the project panel, which can feel overwhelming and messy. To make things more organized, create a new sequence and drag all of your raw clips into it. Then, dock this new timeline between your program monitor and your main editing timeline. This creates a dedicated browsing timeline where you can easily scrub through all your footage. When you find a clip you want to use, simply drag it from this sequence into your main timeline. It's a simple but powerful way to streamline your workflow and keep your editing process much more organized. Trick number nine, recover audio. Imagine you've chopped up your project and later realize that you accidentally removed part of the audio from a clip. Finding it manually can be frustrating. Luckily, there's a quick trick to bring it back. Simply select the video clip in your timeline and press F on your keyboard. This opens the original clip in the source monitor. Use the scroll bar to zoom out a bit and you'll see the highlighted portion that's currently being used in the timeline. To recover the missing audio, just click on the waveform icon in the source monitor and drag the audio track directly beneath your video in the timeline. That's it, your lost audio is restored in seconds without having to hunt it down manually. Trick number 10, animate subtitles. We all know that creating subtitles in Premiere Pro is fairly quick and easy. However, the built-in subtitle feature is quite limited. You can't animate the text or apply most effects directly. But here's a simple trick to unlock those possibilities. First, select all your subtitles in the timeline, then go to the Graphics and Titles menu at the top and choose Upgrade to Graphic. This will convert your subtitles into standard text layers, which means you can now add animations, transitions, and visual effects just like any other graphic element. The best part? You can still edit the text if needed. It's a powerful way to bring your captions to life. If you want to learn how to create subtitles like Mr. Beast in Premiere Pro, click the I button on the screen or check the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome tutorials just like this one.